Today I wanted to show you um, the very basic of basic cinnamon roll recipes that I use often in my house. It is just frozen bread dough, cinnamon, and brown sugar. You can use nuts if you prefer, and we always use melted butter. Uh, frozen bread dough is easy to find in the fr freezer, freezer section. It usually comes in packages of three or five, I think. You can get whole wheat or you can get white. Use whichever you prefer. Um, we have ours already thawed out, risen, and then rolled out. That's all you need to do is, is just roll it out into a rectangle. If you have a hard time rolling it and it's not rolling well, it keeps springing back, let it rest for about 15 minutes and then go back to it again and it will pull much better. Make sure you're using a very well floured surface or everything's going to stick. But once you get your dough, dough all nicely rolled out in a semblance of a rectangle, mine is nothing near like that, you're just going to grab some melted butter and it's, it's not perfect measurement. I usually use about three tablespoons and I melt it. Um, and then you're just going to kind of pour it over the top. And this just makes all of your sugar and all your toppings stick. And I'm going to cover all of my surfaces with it. And I left a little bit left just in case I need it to seal the edges of my cinnamon rolls. And then you're going to use brown sugar. And there's no, again, no measurement here. What you're looking for um, you're probably going to use about a cup and a half, but what you're looking for is just a really nice cover of brown sugar. And again, no rhyme or reason. Just get that on there. And that's going to stick to the butter. And then as it cooks in the oven, it's going to make a real nice caramel kind of feel. Now there are people who think that using the vanilla pudding mix, just a little box of vanilla pudding mix, dry, and sprinkling that over the top is the secret ingredient. Give it a try. It's a really great trick. Otherwise, we're just going to go straight to cinnamon. And you're going to sprinkle cinnamon liberally over the top of this. Just like that. And if, again, if you want to use nuts, walnuts, pecans, almonds, any of those kinds of things, go ahead and do that here. Otherwise, you're finished. And then you're going to roll your cinnamon roll. I like to start out on the outside of me. And you're going to pull it in and you're going to try to keep it as tight as you can as you roll. So kind of push it in while you're pulling it up. Again, this is why you want to have a nicely floured surface so that it rolls nicely, otherwise it will stick to the table. And then when you get to the end, you're going to take the side and you're going to pull it up over the top. Keep it nice and tight. Roll it back towards you. And then this is where you can grab that butter that you had left over if you want to. And you can use that to seal your edges. You don't have to. You're welcome to just cut it if you want to. And then you want to cut this and stick it into your pan. Make sure you're using a pan that's been well greased, well oiled. Uh, you can put melted butter in there. We just use Pam's cooking spray. That works just fine. Take your ends of your, of your cinnamon roll and you're going to fold them into each other. To seal that up, and again on the other side, usually you're not going to, to actually serve that. But in my house, all parts of cinnamon rolls are good, so we're going to use the ends as well. So we're going to close this up. I use a serrated knife to cut my cinnamon rolls because I find it to be the fastest and easiest way. Uh, a lot of people who are pros like to use fishing line, and they'll put it around and they'll pull it up to get a perfect cut. I'm not that perfect. I'll go about an inch and a half. And I'll cut through that, and I'll set it into my pan. And this is what it's going to look like going in. I'm going to let this rise about 20 minutes to half an hour, or double in size, before I put it in the oven. So you want this to double in size. It kind of comes to the top and kind of starts to spill over a little bit as it rises. So cover it. Let it sit in a warm spot and rise, and when you see it double, put it in the oven according to your directions. I think that's 375 degrees, something like that, for about 20 to 25 minutes, and go ahead and ice that if you like. We'll have an icing recipe that I love, a cream cheese icing, on the site for your basic cinnamon rolls. All right, good luck you guys. Make some great cinnamon rolls.